So there's three cameras right in the front here pointing to the sides and right into the middle and you can see little lines where there's a heating element so in the winter it'll actually melt the snow off. If you come around the side you'll see there's one camera on each side on the front fender facing backwards and that's the camera you see while backing up. You also have your B pillar that has a camera facing forward and your last camera is your camera right in the back. So with this it's getting a picture of all around the vehicle along with 12 ultrasonic sensors that measure distance. These will tell the car how far the curb is and the cameras will detect if there's pedestrians, if there's movement, if there's vehicles. And it's using that neural network, that artificial intelligence, to figure out where it should position itself and how to continue on the road. Pretty intelligent and pretty interesting stuff. If you're looking to see if your vehicle has autopilot, press the car button, software, and you'll see if you have autopilot included. When the vehicle's ready to engage autopilot, you can see the little steering wheel sign that's grayed out right above the speed limit, or the speed. When I double click on the lever, it engages autopilot, and next to our um, speed limit sign, so we have our actual speed, our speed limit, and our max speed. And I can scroll that speed downwards or upwards, but unless I'm on a highway, it won't let me do more than 10 kilometers an hour over the speed limit. So you can see I'm hands-free right now, but the vehicle will ask you to keep giving input that you're still alive and that you're still awake. So every 20 seconds or so, I either turn my volume up and down or I increase the speed by one kilometer and decrease it, or I just fight the wheel just a little bit to let it know I'm still there. So you can see we're going through a corner right now and the wheel is turning. I'm not letting go of it completely because I want to make sure that if something happens, I'm here to catch it. But the vehicle does very well handling all of these corners. So in a bumper to bumper traffic situation like this, it still picks up on the, the red lights and the green lights, but since this is autopilot, not full self driving, it won't actually immobilize the car or accelerate at green lights without driver input. If I try to engage autopilot before it's ready, you're gonna see it's gonna flash orange and won't let, won't let me. That's because it's not confirming where the road markings are and it's ready. Now it's figured it out, I can double click it, engage it, and autopilot is engaged. Best practice is to have your hands close. You don't have to be holding on as tightly, but to always be ready to engage. I personally don't rely on the system 100%, as there can be instances where, especially on a, on a smaller side road, where the system isn't perfect yet. Although on the highway, I trust it completely and it does very, very well. To disengage autopilot, you can do two things. One is you just tap the brakes, it disengages it uh, completely, or I can press the lever upwards. So to engage it, double click it downwards, press it upwards to disengage it. If at any point I fight the steering wheel, it'll disengage autopilot, but keep cruise control.